This is the M4. This is an American Tier 4 medium tank. The map is Fisherman's Bay. The game mode is Homefront. Uh, this is an assault defend uh, game mode, and I'm on the defending team. Uh, so one thing that I noticed is that uh, I did get my best games playing in this tank. I am going to get 18 kills in this game. I'm going to do 11,370 damage, and I'm going to get 2,280 spotting damage. I do have two consumables. One is in a, some form of an airstrike, and the other one is like a bomb or run or something like that. <coughs> so it looks like we already succeeded at pushing back the enemy. Okay, so here comes the next wave. I have my side armor showing. That's really bad. Yeah, I took way too many hits. This wasn't a smart move. There's no way to repair. You know, once you're out, you're out. Now, this is clearly one of the games uh, where I learned... Uh, to play in a different position. So this is going to have a smaller target area, but obviously it will do more damage. And I just dropped two on the same spot. Beautiful. Got a double kill by low-level airstrike. So this general area is a position that I ended up getting a lot of good games in. Nice ammo rack. So you can see that there is a red circle. Uh, you have to get out of it for the airstrikes, the bombing runs. You notice that I went a lot further than I might have done in other replays. And the reason why is because I have been hit before when I was outside the circle. So you got, like that shot right there, you, you can get hit by the blast radius. So I'm returning to this position, and the reason why is because you can collect ammo from here, and you can hide, and you can go hull down, and you can get behind the enemy, and you can flank them. There's a lot of good things about this position. Ideally, you want to drop your airstrikes on multiple tanks or on a tank that's been tracked. But if you wait to use your consumables, you, you might not get to use them. You might die before you get to use them. And the other thing is, because it takes a certain amount of time, the cooldown period, you know, looks like it's at least 40 seconds or more. Uh, you reduce your potential DPM if you hold on to them. Uh, so that's the reason why I use them right away. Uh, there's a chance you could use hold it for later and not be more accurate. So that's why I use it right away. I did pick up the ammo, and I am relatively low on hit points. I do recognize some of the names uh, on my team. So I've, other, I've played games with those same players, I think. Panthers are tough tanks. Definitely want to use APCR against the Panthers. Definitely want to go for that side armor. One thing that I don't like about this mode is you can't play your own tanks. You got to play the tanks they give you, and you got to play whatever crew it comes with. You can't add your favorite modules or your favorite equipment, none of that stuff. 
Okay, so it looks like the Panther took me out of the game. He obviously cheated. Came back in with another M4. I am in the backfield. Uh, it's still the same wave of Panthers. I don't have a lot of APCR rounds because I did just spawn in. And when you spawn in, you start out with your base set of ammo. That's why it's very important to continue collecting um, the flags because you might have an ally who runs out of ammo. I'm obviously increasing my distance. Uh, between that panther, it'll make it harder for him to hit me. Oh, come on. Looks like we succeeded at stopping them, but I don't have a lot of hit points left. I'm up to 3,000 damage. So the flag's really going to help out. You know what? It only gave me four APCR rounds. It's not a lot. Going to use them up really fast. Now I'm up to 12 because the Crusader picks them up. A lot of enemy vehicles. Only takes one of them to take me out. Okay, so over here I could easily miss one tank and hit the tank behind him. I did want to go to the position where that vehicle is that I'm firing at, but it looks like he loves that position more than I do. Unfortunately, unlike Frontline, you do want to be careful about uh, how many times you respawn. You got to stay in the game. Uh, the in-game stats is only reporting 2,900 damage. I'm going to remind you, I am going to get 11,370 damage in the game. And I'm going to get 18 kills and 2,280 assistance damage. As the weeks go by, I'm probably going to release one video per week. Uh, the amount of damage I do each week is going to keep on going until I get to the highest amount, which is around 22,000 and uh, 22 kills. So it looks like I'm still in the game with only 11 hit points. All you got to do is stay in the back. Those are the last two vehicles in the game. They are kind of far from me. I think I might have a nice drop on him. Oh, it looks like he stopped. Yeah, I think we're going to push these guys back. Okay, so again, got to go for the armor, got to go for the ammo, and got to try and get the ammo, no, try and get the position that I like to snipe from, which is on the west side. Maybe I didn't play it much. It looks like I went there once earlier in the game, but there's going to be some games when I spend all of my time over in this area right here, and it worked out really well. There's going to be a lot of vehicles. They're easily going to overrun me. This could be it. Miss an easy shot on that Lux. So you can see for safety, I rolled back over to here so that his allies couldn't shoot at me.
Yeah, he's out of the game. Gonna have to use the sniper mode. Oh, got him. Oh, I guess I won't be able to hit him. So it looks like one of them's going to get through. I think we're going to hold these guys off. I think we're going to win this game. But you never know. The last wave could be really difficult. Up to 3,800 damage. Oh, I took him out in a bombing run. Ammo rack. There's one more vehicle left. Got to find them. See how he's driving in reverse. They actually played somewhat well. They they weren't able to aim very well. I wish this were a permanent game mode. I would play it a lot more often if it were. One more wave. It's got a couple tigers in it, which is going to be difficult. So what I'm doing, which is really important, by spotting the enemy team, Everybody that has uh, air strikes and artillery strikes can start dropping them right now. You know, you have to spot those vehicles in order to be able to drop those strikes. I did pretty well with only 11 hit points. You notice that I keep on moving which is one of my strategies uh, for uh, defending myself, uh, which is also one of the reasons why I use the auto aim. If you use a sniper mode, uh, it's a little bit, you do have to pretty much stop once in a while. Maybe there's players that don't, but when I watch people do it, they tend to stop. Um, by doing what I'm doing, I keep on moving, which makes it more difficult for the enemy to shoot back at me. Uh, this is obviously a Wolverine. I really am not a big fan of playing this type of vehicle. I don't like slow tanks with slow turrets. There is a vehicle that I haven't played yet. Maybe it's called the, the, the T25AT or something, and it comes after the Wolverine. It's one of the few vehicles I never played, so I might have to play the uh, Wolverine in order to unlock it. Seems to be doing well, and I'm a much better player th now than I am, uh, uh, than I was uh, five minutes ago. So I'm sure that if I play the Wolverine, I'm sure I'm going to have great games. When I watch my old replays, I see mistakes. Even if I had good games, I see where I'm not angling properly or not uh, moving into a safe position that's right next to me. Okay, let's see a nice airdrop on that guy.
looks like he survived whatever it was. I wonder why I held my fire. Yeah, you see, I got a high ping time. It's uh, 270 milliseconds. It does put you at a serious disadvantage. I'm up to 7,000 damage, 1,300 spotting damage. Wow, it's a little tough. There's only three of us left in the game. I did set that guy on fire, which is really cool. Just so you guys know, these the enemy team, they are bots. They're not human players. Oh, lost an ally. So it's me and one other guy. Why is that happening? Oh, we did take him out of the game. The leopards are really tough. They're the tough, toughest vehicles in the game. We're unlikely to succeed. Up to 7,700 damage again. I'm going to get... Oh, that's weird. Why don't we have the other wave coming in? Okay, so I don't know why the game st stopped. In the after game stats, it said I did 11,370 damage, 2,280 spotting damage, and 18 kills. So in the future videos, I'm going to be showing the after game stats. Not set up to do it right now, but it will be in uh, future videos. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.